Is there trouble looming in the Chesapeake Bay? For the first time in several years, the blue crab population took a big hit. The Virginia Marine Resources Commission reported historic low numbers for juvenile crabs. That includes the mother crabs in 2018. The VMRC immediately put in regulations for the rest of the season. Ten on your side's Matt Gregory looked into how the harvest hit home here in Hampton Roads. Yeah, so what causes a drop in the crab population? The VMRC says it's a combination of weather, natural predators, and they say they're overfished. So they added regulations that are supposed Supposed to help next year, but the crabbing industry will tell you it's hurting their future. Tangled lines dangle from the Lynn Haven Fishing Pier in Virginia Beach. On one end, a piece of raw chicken, and on the other, a hopeful crabber. This is what you'll see on a summer evening on the pier. And so is this Marine Police patrolling the pier for violations. Take a look at your crabs real quick. Town on your side got calls about people catching too many female crabs, so we followed as they checked. But it turns out this time of year. After June 15th, uh, you're allowed to keep uh, all female crabs, except for the immature female. That's why you'll find Franchon Dukes wading out into the water. They're not catching too many on the pier, so I'm in the water with a piece of bait on a string and uh, scooping them up. With a little patience, trip by trip, Dukes fills his bucket of crustaceans. Once I clean all that out, she's ready to batter up and fry. It's the same thing he did as a kid, with a difference. We didn't even have to have bait when I was younger. You just walk around the perimeter of the head, scoop them out of the water, and we have a bucket in no time. It's just an observation, but in June, the Virginia Marine Resources Commission reported an 18% drop in this year's crab population from weather, natural predators, and overfishing. And with that report came a return to old restrictions, not for crabbers like Franchon, but the commercial guys. A lot of work, a lot of work. Regulations to boost the crab population next year will shorten the season this year. Regulations ain't worth nothing. That's a popular feeling on the docks in Newport News. Years ago, you'd find dozens of boats coming in with the day's catch ready to sell. Now there's just a few. If you're going to do this and do it right, it's a full, it's 18 hours, 15, 18 hours a day. Six days a week, Kenneth Diggs and his crew crab to make a living. And this year in November, those regulations will cut Diggs' catch nearly in half and then stop crabbing altogether by the end of the month. You cut your limit back, I mean, it would be a third of your income loss. Imagine losing that much of your pay. Each bushel move equals dollars in these watermen's pockets. However, the VMRC points out they're not cutting the season short. They're just returning to 2015 restrictions. And they add this year's study also showed a major drop in the juvenile crab population next year's mothers. But Diggs sees a decline of his own, watermen. I mean, I'm not saying they're wrong, but what I'm saying is the watermen is, have taken enough of the punishment. It's time to blame it on something other than the watermen. Let us go to work. I talked with the commissioner of the VMRC, and he says of the factors that cause a drop in the crab population, commercial crabbing is the only element they can control. He believes what they call a modest restriction will help grow the stock into the future. Matt Gregory, ton on your side.